So I really appreciate um, everyone that came out in support of my campaign kickoff. I really appreciate that. Really thankful for uh, all your time. So just a little bit about myself, and then we're going to talk about how we're going to run this campaign so we can uh, take it to a winning point. So starting with myself, who I am, I am just a regular person like you. Um, I have migrated to U.S. in 2000, and it's been almost 40 years, and uh, I have lived since then in uh, Elk Grove. So being in Elk Grove and working with the county of Sacramento, I have been instrumental with um, all the development that you have seen in the last uh, 20 years. Um, it, it could be either in a vineyard community, it could be in Elk Grove, all the new areas that are developing, uh, Laguna Ridge and uh, SEPA, things like that. And also in Rancho Cordova, even into some parts of the uh, city of Sacramento. Um, me and Jagdish Paji, we are always uh, working, he's working on the construction side of it, I'm working in the planning side of it. So we had a pretty good relationship from that aspect. Um, why I'm running? Um, there is a simple reason. The city has uh, grown up from being an infant or a kid into a 20 year old uh, adult. It has its own new problems, it has new sets of issues, it has uh, new reasons that uh, a new leadership, you can't expect uh, a kindergarten teacher teaching your college going student. So that's where the whole thing is. We have the same leadership that was in place in the, when the, the city became incorporated and now they are still running the show. But then with the casino coming in, with the new hospital close to five, uh, Highway 5 and uh, uh, Elgar Boulevard showing up and some other issues that are popping up in the community, the leadership is more worried about their day-to-day connections between each other, they are fighting and uh, they have infighting going on. They seems like they are not doing the right thing for the city. They are more involved in their personal grudges against each other. And I want to be the person that is acceptable to all of them. I am not in any one of the camps. We are not polarized in any way. I am here for the sake of the general public, for the citizens of this city not for who belongs to which camp, that's not my goal. So what will be our agenda for this campaign? The few things that all these leaders have talked in the past but never have done anything that uh, you can see is really happening. The first biggest thing is El Grove is more like a residential neighborhood community. It does not have the same amount of jobs that uh, for the amount of people that live in El Grove. So the biggest thing is to bring jobs to the city. Have this thing develop into something where people can just uh, drive or walk to their work and the drive is not five minutes or more. So there's a lot of things that it also bumps into the traffic issues which I will talk later on, but uh, the first is the job. Um, looking back at the history of this uh, city, all the candidates who have been selected, elected, they have always said about jobs but never done anything conc- concrete about it. So my plan is that we're going to be working on creating jobs in El Grove. And the simple thing, people sometimes try to achieve something very high up in, in the sky and they forget about some low-hanging fruit. I'm going after that low-hanging fruit. We're going to survey the, the population of El Grove and figure out which companies are they mostly working for and come up with a plan that how we can have those companies where 80 percent of the employees are commuting from El Grove, how why not they move back into El Grove rather than the, the, their employees are driving from El Grove. So that would be an easy fix. The employer is probably going to like it. Their commute time for their employees is going to be shorter and uh, we will try to incentivize it to the city once I am elected. Uh, the other bigger thing in the city is um, uh, the traffic. Uh, there is um, uh, the area that District 3 we are in, it is a completely built out. It has a couple access points to uh, 99 and a couple access points to 5. Um, by the time people get on 99 or 5, it's a, it's a long commute. 
Um, and why is it long commute? Because we need uh, some sort of a couple interchanges for the city that the people can drive and get on the freeway quickly rather than driving through the neighborhoods to get to the... So there is those studies going on. It's not coming to any final decision. I, once I'm selected and elected for this uh, position, I will make sure that those studies get completed and we have to, we get to see those interchanges which will take a big, big care of uh, the traffic issue. The other biggest issue in, uh, in the city is uh, uh, the homelessness. It's uh, creeping up slowly and slowly. We, this district, District 3, is bordering city of Sacramento. So anytime there is a spillover from the city of Sacramento, the District 3 is the first one to see the number of homeless people going up. And that's a big challenge. We need to, we need to preserve the, uh, the quality of life in this district and the Elk Grove, but at the same time, we need to deal with the homelessness issue. There could be multiple ways to do it. We need to stop how the, why somebody gets homeless. There are multiple ways. There is a scientific studies behind it. There is a, uh, automation that we can use. Most of us are on the cell phones, our phones are smartphones. And uh, like uh, you go on Amazon, you pick one item, you even buy it or not buy it, but whenever you go to the next website, you see that same ad pops up for that same item. So those type of things can be used to see, okay, why this person looked into some homeless issues or why and why is there any reason that this person is going into being a homeless person down the road. So we can catch those up. We need to use the scientific methods to control homelessness. At the same time, we have to provide them with the uh, mental uh, care uh, so that uh, we can take care of those people who really are homeless because of the mental issues that they are facing. And um, the other thing is um, about the city, we have to work on um, uh, getting the police and the uh, police has to be released from um, working on all those social issues. So I'm planning to set up uh, some ways or some form of uh, social services and I'm gonna be so making budget available for those or those departments so that uh, anytime there is a call, it's not the police going in. If it's a homeless person making a call or it's a mental issue or, or there is a home disturbance call, could be that uh, the social services can go and resolve it rather than police showing up and uh, we are watching and listening in just recent months that um, any time police officers show up and uh, there is uh, some sort of a misunderstanding, uh, there is a shooting or something. So we're going to make sure El Group does not get on those headlines any time. So I will work on that part. So you guys being here, I really appreciate your time. I will um, request and I hope uh, you guys will be helping me with this campaign. As uh, we, as uh, Pajini also mentioned, uh, we need notes and we need votes. Uh, so the money is also needed. We have a good amount of uh, funds collected, but we need more. We are still number two in uh, fundraising uh, in comparison to the five other candidates. Um, but uh, we are very hopeful that uh, with the, all of your support and um, with the money that got raised through you guys, um, we will be able to make it pretty good. And um, I'm very hopeful that we will win this election. It's mostly a triangle race uh, where one uh, candidate uh, is representing another uh, one party, another one is representing the other party, but we are the neutral ones. We are the ones that um, are acceptable to all the other ones. Uh, I have a conversation with uh, Steve Lee and uh, Bobby Singh Allen through text messaging and they both wanted to come here but uh, for some reason they both have uh, their pre-planned uh, uh, schedule and, and uh, so they cannot make it but it uh, uh, seems like uh, they are both interested in uh, connecting with uh, this campaign so that um, they can also win and we will also win. So knowing that it's not that um, uh, it's a difficult task, it's just that it needs a lot of labor. So we need uh, to sign up. We have these signs up on the wall uh, where we can do phone banking. Um, it's not a very big district, only 23,000 votes. Out of that, generally speaking, 17 to 18,000 are who actually poll. And uh, if we can do our job, we can certainly get that 51 mark that uh, is needed to win this election. 
So with that, I would uh, like to thank everyone for taking the time out of their schedule. Uh, it is uh, great to see you guys. If you have any questions, you can ask uh, anytime. You can call me uh, for the media if anybody is watching it. My number is 916-206-1820. Anytime you want to call and ask about any issue, any concern, I'm willing to talk to any of the constituents of this district or, or anybody from Elk Grove or anywhere, anywhere else. Um, without that, has anybody any questions, uh, any concerns, any ideas that uh, we can uh, take this campaign to a winning point? Okay, let's build up that yeah. momentum. Let's go.